Boys and girls, let us all raise our glasses to our guest of honor, Miss Emily Kimberly. Emily, we are all looking forward to having you grace us with your presence for many, many years to come. Am I right? Yes. 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 Speech. 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 Thank you, Gordon. Well, I cannot tell you all how deeply moved I am. I never in my wildest dreams imagined I'd be the object of so much genuine affection. It makes it all the more difficult for me to say what I'm now going to say. Yes, I do feel it's time to set the record straight. You see, I didn't come to this hospital just as an administrator, Dr. Brewster. Yes, I came to this hospital to, to settle an old score. Yes. Now, you all know that my father was a brilliant man. He built this hospital. What you don't know is that to his family, he was an unmerciful tyrant, an absolute dodo bird. Uh, he, he, he caused my mother, his wife, to, to drink. In fact, she um, went riding one time and lost all her teeth. Um, and the son, Edward, became a recluse. Uh, and, the, and the oldest daughter, the pretty one, the charming one, she, she became pregnant at 15 years old and was driven out of the house and in fact, she was so terrified that, that she, uh, that the baby daughter would, would, would bear the, the stigma, the illegitimacy, that she decided to change her name. And, uh, uh, and she contracted a disfiguring disease. After uh, moving to Tangier, which is where she raised the, the little girl as her sister, but her one ambition in life was to become a nurse. So she returned to the States and joined the staff right here at Southwest General. She worked here and she knew she had to speak up whenever she saw injustice and inhumanity. You do understand that, don't you, Dr. Brewster? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and she was shunned by all the nurses, too. Yeah, yeah. But she was deeply, 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 deeply loved by her brother. It was this brother who, on the day of her death, uh, swore to the good Lord above that he would follow in her footsteps and, 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 and just, just, oh, uh, just, um, you know, owe it all up to her, you know, but on her terms, right, as a woman and just as proud to be a woman as she ever was. For I am not Emily Kimberly, the daughter of Duane and Alma Kimberly. No, I'm not. I'm Edward Kimberly. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, the recluse brother of my sister Anthea. Oh, my God. Edward Kimberly, who has finally vindicated his sister's good name. Oh, my God. And I'm not mentally ill, but, but, but proud and, and lucky and strong enough to be the man that was the woman, actually, that was the best part of my manhood. Best part of myself. <laughs> Julie. <coughs> Julie. Julie. 